Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about 10 things only introverts understand. Now let's begin. Number 1. Peaceful Isolation Extroverts draw energy from the people around them. They enjoy loud, busy places surrounded by crowds and life, thriving in these energetic environments, but introverts can't say the same. Unlike extroverts, introverts spend most of their time alone, and they like it that way. If you're an introvert, you know that solitude is essential to your comfort, stability, and happiness. Because you feel like yourself when no one else is around. The things you love are solitary activities like artistic passions and quiet intellectual hobbies. Now, this doesn't mean that introverts like you don't like other people. Many introverts have strong friendships and relationships, which we'll talk about later. Regardless of how many friends you have, the only time you truly feel at peace is when you're alone. Number 2. Solitary Freedom How do you like to spend your free time? What does your perfect weekend look like? For an extrovert, free time is a chance to socialize, explore, and connect with others. Extroverts search for new and exciting opportunities, which allow them to mingle with fun, energetic people. But introverts spend their free time a little bit differently. You might, for example, spend your perfect weekend in the privacy of your own home. To an extrovert, this might sound ridiculous. Why spend time at home when there's so much to do out in the world? But introverts don't enjoy the same rousing activities. In fact, many introverts find them exhausting, jumping from place to place, meeting all kinds of new people. Instead, introverts use their free time to engage with their inner selves. During the week, you're bogged down by personal and professional obligations, but in your spare time, you have the freedom to be yourself by yourself. Extroverts may call you boring or antisocial, but introverts have their own definition of fun. Number 3. Natural Relief Do you find a sense of fulfillment in nature? Do you disappear into the wilderness for days on end? Many introverts adore exploring nature by themselves. For an introvert, solitary hikes or a few quiet hours reading by the water make for a perfect afternoon. Because the city can be overwhelming for an introvert, especially if you work in a busy corporate environment, you're constantly engaging with other people. Your environment is also changing, filled with motion and overwhelming stimuli. The longer you're immersed in this busy space, the more you disconnect with yourself. Your motivation suffers, you lose track of your hobbies, and you struggle to find passion and inspiration. At the end of the week, many introverts are tired of city life and crave a quiet, relaxing trip into nature. In the forest or the mountains, you take a much-needed sigh of relief. You breathe the fresh air and you find a sense of clarity as you reconnect with your inner self. Many introverts take solitary excursions on a regular basis because they rely on those natural escapes to stabilize and recenter. Other people might ask you, what do you do out there? Aren't you bored spending so much time alone in the middle of nowhere? But introverts rarely feel bored or isolated on their adventures into nature. Instead, they feel a sense of joy and relief that only introverts can understand. Number 4. The Power of Listening Introverts are great listeners. Most of the time, they like to listen more than they like to talk. Why? Well, because introverts know the power and the value of listening. Unfortunately, many people don't feel heard in their daily lives. They have a hard time expressing themselves because they don't feel like anyone really cares. But introverts are active and careful listeners. They want you to pour your heart out so they can be the sounding board that you need. Because feeling heard can change your life. It can relieve stress, tension, and frustration, especially when no one else in your life is willing to listen. In those moments, you need someone to hear you, and introverts do exactly that. While introverts aren't the most talkative people on the planet, they can be incredible listeners, and because they listen closely, they often give fantastic advice. They try to empathize with your problems, consider your personality, and help you resolve your problem. Active, quiet listeners can often fly under the radar, but introverts know just how powerful a good listener can be. Number 5. Conflicting Desires Many introverts experience two conflicting desires. You crave meaningful, lasting relationships. You want to connect with people on a deeper level and discuss meaningful, personal subjects. Introverts want to get to know people below the surface, but they also crave independence. 
You want to escape from everyone and everything. You want to run away from the rest of the world and simply enjoy the peace and quiet. So how do you strike the right balance between deep relationships and that constant craving for independence? For many introverts, this is a lifelong struggle. Your two conflicting impulses pull you in opposite directions day after day. To an extrovert, this conflict might seem like an easy one to solve, but introverts are almost always torn in two separate directions. Do you want to connect with your loved ones, or do you want to escape from all of your commitments? If you're an introvert, you probably want both. Number 6. Happy to Cancel Do you get excited before a party or a big event, or do you secretly hope your plans will fall through? Many introverts find themselves wishing for rainy days and canceled plans. While other people get excited before an outing, you're crossing your fingers hoping it gets postponed. Why? Because parties and events are draining for introverts. While many introverts like to be social, there's a limit to how much socializing you can stand. When you've hit your limit, all you want to do is resign to the comfort of your own space. You don't want to talk to people. You don't want to worry what people think. You don't want to get dressed up or put on a show. If your plans get canceled, the weight of any social event falls off your shoulders. And for an introvert, that's a huge relief. Number 7. Dinner for One Do you take yourself out to eat? There's a stigma attached to dining alone. Extroverts might think it's lonely or sad. If they see someone dining alone, they assume they don't have any friends to eat with them. But introverts know there's nothing wrong with eating by yourself. In fact, it can be more fun than eating with others. First of all, eating alone gives you a chance to enjoy your food. You develop a greater, finer appreciation for the food you're eating when you can focus solely on what's on the plate. When you're eating with others, your attention is divided between the food and conversation. Oftentimes, your meal fades into the background because you're too busy thinking about what to say. But if you dine alone, you don't have to work or think because conversation is not on the menu. Instead, you can carefully enjoy your food, or like many introverts, you can observe the environment around you. You can watch other people, appreciate the atmosphere, and get in touch with yourself. Extroverts might not understand the advantages of eating alone, but for an introvert, there's no better way to enjoy a meal. Number 8. Careful Pacing on average, extroverts are more spontaneous than introverts. They're more likely to take confident risks or throw themselves into the unknown. In general, they value their ability to think on their feet, and they practice by chasing new experiences. But introverts are slower by nature. They're careful and deliberate, whether it's personal, professional, or anything in between. Introverts want to move at their own pace. This can be frustrating for an extrovert. They might get angry at how slowly you move. They might get impatient and push you into situations you're not ready for. To an extrovert, it feels like you're dragging your feet, but you're doing more heavy lifting than they realize. Instead of acting spontaneously, you're carefully thinking about your decisions. You're reflecting on your choices and getting in touch with your deeper desires. Introverts need plenty of time to ask these hard questions before they can jump into something new, but that's something only introverts truly understand. Number 9. Quietly Confident Have people ever called you shy or socially anxious? Many extroverts think introverted people like you are naturally shy. You're not as talkative as the average person, so others assume that you're afraid to speak. But not all introverts are shy. In fact, many of the most confident people are consistently introverted. You choose to keep your mouth shut. You're reserved not because you're afraid, but because you only speak when you have something to say. You may not seek out conversations with strangers. You may ignore small talk or rest in a quiet corner of the room. But you know a quiet person and a shy person are very different. Extroverts might not know the difference, but introverts do. Number 10. The Silent Majority Introversion isn't an uncommon personality type. Society frames extroverts as the social norm, but there are just as many introverts as there are extroverts, if not more. The problem is, extroverts are a whole lot louder. Uh, let's say you're at a party. You see loud, excitable extroverts standing in the center of the room. You see these extroverts and you assume you're the only introvert here. But you're not. Introverts tend to fade into the background. Because they avoid the spotlight and keep to themselves, they become a silent majority, while extroverts dominate most social spaces. 
In other words, there's nothing weird about being an introvert. You may feel like you're the odd man out, society may stigmatize your reserved, solitary habits. However, introverts are anything but unusual. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.